Longtime journalist Barbara Walters is now recovering at home from the chickenpox. There is now a vaccine for the virus typically contracted in childhood, but Walters never had the chicken box. And as doctors tell us, it can be very dangerous as you get older. Dr. Paul Skolnick from Yukon Health Center joins us now to explain just how serious it can be. Now, most adults, they've had the chicken pox, almost a rite of passage. Your sibling gets it, your cousin, your neighbor, your friend, you're going to get it, and then you just deal with it. Right. It used to be a very common mm -hmm. childhood disease. Once you contract it, it lies dormant in your body, can reactivate later as shingles, but most people were protected by natural immunity. Now we have a very good vaccine that's a routine childhood vaccine. So how common is it that adults get it? Extraordinarily rare. Mm -hmm. um, between natural exposure and the high contagiousness of the virus and younger people now getting the vaccine, it's very unusual for an adult to get the chicken pox, but it happens as you can see with Barbara Walters. And, and talk about how it gets even more dangerous the older that you get. So there are complications from varicella or chickenpox, most notably pneumonia. If people are immunocompromised, if they have cancers, if they're pregnant, it's more likely that they'll contract one of these complications, which can be lethal. So we really urge people to get the vaccines to protect themselves during childhood. Mm -hmm. And the treatment for this chickenpox, whether you get it from a child, if, as a child, if you're not vaccinated or adult, is, is just kind of wait it out, right? And put well, the cream on? Well, right. We, in kids, it's usually a self-limited disease, although there are rare complications, and that was the basis of the approval for the vaccine. But uh, there is an antiviral medication that we can use for more severe cases. Uh, if an adult gets it, we typically will give that antiviral drug. Mm -hmm. Now, Barbara Walters had to be hospitalized at a very high temperature. Is that one of the typical side effects? Uh, one of the presentations of chickenpox is, in fact, high fever. So usually there's two days of a prodrome where people don't feel right. They may have a little fever. And then the rash starts. Mm -hmm. And the rash is very classic, um, very distinctive. It's hard to miss once you've seen it. Oh, sure. And then the illness can last for anywhere from five to ten days with uh, discomfort, itchiness, right. fever, and the like. People are contagious for others even before the rash develops for about those two days and then until the rash uh, scabs over. Now you're talking about the uncomfortable itchiness. I mean, the <laughs> the thing is, if it's so hard when you do have the chicken box, it's not scratching. Absolutely. Right? It, it really is an issue. And one of the things that can happen is if you do scratch a lot, there can be some scarring. So mm -hmm. we, right. we really try to get people not to do that. Mm -hmm. Now let's talk about when the uh, chicken box vaccination was uh, suggested and required. So that it's pretty recent uh, in the last decade or so that we've had this. It was interesting because it was approved both to protect against the complications, which can affect the lung and the brain, but also because people's parents were out of work. It was the first vaccine that was really approved in that way. And then later in life, using the exact same virus strain, when people reach 50 or 60 year old, they can get the vaccine double the dose uh, to prevent or help prevent shingles. Mm -hmm. Or if you get shingles to attenuate the disease, make it less severe. Now I had the uh, chicken pox when I think I was like eight or nine years old. Would you suggest getting that vaccination now or you know, in the next right. five so, or 10 years? So even if you've had the chicken pox before, I wouldn't get it now. Um, I'm assuming you're not 50 or 60 years old yet. No. But, <laughs> Thank uh, you for that. <laughs> um, once you reach that age, you should consider getting it because it does decrease the risk of this very painful rash-like illness called shingles, shingles. or herpes uh, zoster. One thing to consider, at least at the current time, is many insurance companies don't cover the cost of the vaccine, so mm -hmm. many people do have to pay out of pocket. But if you've ever seen anyone with this, this illness, um, probably good thing to get because it can be pretty pretty debilitating and painful. So you're saying to be on the safe side, just get it. Right. right. All right. Well, Dr. Skolnick, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. A lot of helpful information. Okay.